What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a brand new WWE action figure custom showcase for you guys. As you guys can see, plenty of WWE figures here. We got some custom head sculpts on the table. My boy, BEW Animations, man. Go give him a follow on Instagram and YouTube. I have all of his stuff down in the description below. You gotta go check him out. One of the most talented dudes I've ever worked with on any project ever, man. Dude is super talented. He is literally like a Picasso freaking Leonardo da Vinci over here, man. Just he, He's a jack of all trades. He can do it all. He's a renaissance man. Stop motion. Customs. Anything you want, man, he can get it done. But he is insane and today, we I, I mean, over the years, over the last five years or so, we have done so much work together. It's crazy. We've done so much stuff together and he has had a lot of work featured here on the channel that I adore him for. Me and Brian go way back. I feel like I've known him forever and he's been around since the very beginning of the channel, so that's pretty cool there. So, definitely go check my man out. He is a beast. So, a few weeks back, I hit him up for some custom head sculpts. Now, I hit him up all the time just for, like, random ideas. I throw him at him, he throws them back, and we kind of, you know, we shoot this shish. And today we have a lot of custom head sculpts to go through, and I want to showcase them. And then I need your guys' help on some bodies that I want to put these head sculpts on, because I don't know what bodies I want to put these on. I was over, you know, I was kind of all over the place. Some of them already have bodies that I that I've decided on, but some of them do not. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. I want to go through each head sculpt, give you my background on it, what it looks like, and then uh, at the end there we can decide what bodies we want to put them on. Alright, man. So starting out first with this Jeff Hardy head sculpt, this is actually based on Cyber. Sunday, I want to say 2008 or 2009, and I know we got this figure from Jack's way back in the day, but I've always loved this, this face paint. I always thought it was super duper clean. Look at how beautiful the likeness is. I mean, he you're going to hear me say a bunch of adjectives to describe BEW's work. You're going to hear me say destroyed. You're going to hear me say nailed it. You're going to hear me say a lot of those things. So, buckle the hell up, man, but the head scope looks crazy. It looks so great, and this is actually, I want to say this is the SmackDown 2-pack with Triple H and Jeff Hardy. That's the head scope this was. So, I I think it was the red hair, you know, all that different stuff, I want to say. Yeah, you guys can see the red bleeding through right there. That's what this head sculpt was. So he, he completely painted the hair, he painted the face, it looks great. So I am going to figure out a body to put this on. I do want it to be accurate, so I'm not just going to throw this on any body. I do want this to be good, but he he freaking nailed it, man. Look at how good the likeness is with this. This just tells you how good the sculpt itself is from Mattel for him to, to be able to put that paint work in and bring out that likeness. I think not only did BEW nail it, but Mattel did as well. That's beautiful. Now next up is a face paint that I decided to do myself here. It's kind of like a ghost face or kind of like a, I don't even know what to call it here, but I was searching out some face paints on Google and this is the ones, that, this is one of the ones that I really loved and this is actually on the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy. So this is the interchangeable head, not the screaming head sculpt. This is the straight face and this looks so much better than the Ultimate Edition head. I know the Ultimate Edition head is from his celebration the night he won the, you know, the night after he won the WWE Championship but this is just sick. He has all the different colors going through the hair and then you get into that face paint and it just looks wicked, man. That that detail in there. I, I don't think my camera really does it justice how beautiful it is. I'll try to zoom in there and get everything, but he just killed it, man. It looks insane, and I love how, like, the Mattel, like, he's got the pattern in there. That that was Mattel's work, but then he just kind of complimented it with the face paint, so I like that one a lot. This next one I was super excited about, because this is actually a Jeff Hardy face paint based on one of his paintings I found. So I found a painting of Jeff Hardy's, and so I said, dude, that would be sick as hell if, he did a, if we did a face paint like that. So all that intricate line work that's on there is just so crazy, man. So crazy. I don't know how he did it. BW, Brian, it's just insane. Look at the work there. It, it looks incredible. If I can, I'll try to pull up an image of the artwork that I based it off of. It just came out great. You have like your light blues and grays and greens and like the black line work and the gray line work all throughout. It turned out incredible. So I love it. He's got the fade on the side with the beard. I can't remember what head sculpt this is. I think, I want to say it was one of the interchangeable ones that came on the Elite 71 Hardy, I think, or at least, yeah, Elite 71 Hardy, I think in the Adam Cole series. This one's one of my favorites. It's beautiful. This next one, I think, was everybody's favorite on Instagram. And this is another one of those, much like the the, like the widowy Phantom one that we, we did in the white and black. This was one of the ones that I found on Google that I really wanted to replicate. And he killed it, man. Look at that green. You have all those tones of green and like the skull detail. You have his beard coming underneath. That is just so sick. And I think the image that we used, the guy had like half blonde hair, half black hair. And so we did the sides of his hair in blonde here with the black over the top. Just look how dirty that is, man. I don't even know if Mattel has made a elite figure that has this sick of a, a like, you know, a, would it complement it? Is there a is there an elite out there with different sleeve combinations that is going to complement how good this face paint looks? And again, the likeness is super crazy. You got that like black nose detail going in. You got the gauges in the skull teeth. Just a disgusting 
disgusting display of talent by BEW there. So I, I love this one a lot. This one's going to look great. Like the Hardy collection was crazy before, man, but I had all these extra Hardy heads lying around and I wanted to put them to use. So that is why we did these. And now I got to find some figures to put these head sculpts on to really, you know, get that Hardy collection going crazy. All right, one of the last ones, I think we have a couple more Hardys here. This one's really cool as well. You guys can see it has like a third eye on the forehead. And then you have like this galaxy ripping paint on the lower half that reaches into the white up top. I thought about putting this one on the Elite 71 as well. I think I just think that like the pinks and the blues ties in together with the white and black. I think that may work out cool. We'll have to throw it on there, see what it looks like and all those things. But you got the black gauges. And I want to say this is another one of those interchangeable head sculpts. But it's a pretty unique paint. Another one I saw on Google that I thought would look cool. So we went with the half galaxy sort of ripping or tearing away face paint. Looks pretty sick. I like this one. Next up, we do have a Chris Statlander. And this Chris Statlander is just a repaint of the Unrivaled Series 8. I am going to pop this onto the figure here. I didn't like the way that uh, Jazzwares did this. I thought that BW captured the likeness much better and, you know, repainted the star, repainted the hair, make it look a lot more realistic. So now Statlander is looking a lot better. So I appreciate BW for hooking her up. She's looking a lot better now. Next up is actually a Bad Luck Folly head. And this head sculpt was 3D printed by somebody that I got a long, long time ago and I never did anything with it. I also got a sunglasses version, but I ended up losing that version somehow. But he put the whole tattoos on here. Look at this. He hand painted all these tattoos on the back of this head, which is just crazy. Like the tribal patterns. Imagine having a hand paint like Roman Reigns tattoo. Pretty much what he did here on the back of this head sculpt. So we are going to put this onto my Bad Luck Fale figure, which is right here. I've been using this head sculpt for a long time now, and now we can replace it with one that actually looks accurate and stuff like that. So that will be really cool to see. Putting that figure on there. Putting that head on there, that should make that look a lot better. So we will do that before the end of the video. Here's another Jeff Hardy head that I love, man. You got the fade on the side. You got the red and the blonde going throughout. He actually did add some length here. I think he sculpted the first part right here and then glued down one of the, you know, the screaming Hardy head sculpts. He put that hair piece on there. So now you get like that straight face, handsome Hardy head with the coloration. And then it should go on to, uh, to a figure. I think the ultimate edition is what this would look best on, honestly, with the, you know, the lime green sleeves and the white and stuff. But we will have to see. I'll, I'll play around with it, see what era it fits best or what body it fits best that Mattel's given us so far. And it sucks because, I mean, you could go get a Jeff Hardy Elite almost anywhere now with that top picks out there, and it's pretty good timing there since he's gone in AEW now. I know we're going to get an AEW figure, but if you want some of those Mattel WWE classic Hardys with that formula, man, you want to go get your hands on it. I'm glad that I've built up a collection over the years here, but may have to track down some more, man, because, you know, they're not going to make any more of them here, and he, he may go back for one last run in WWE before it's all said and done, but, you know, the, AE one, the AEW ones are here, and, and this, this head sculpt looks insane. All right, last four head sculpts, man. We do have Dan Housen right here. I am working on a formula right now, so I don't have a body to put this on, but he, he nailed it here. You got the, you know, you got all the face paint. I think this is a 3D printed head sculpt from Hederation, maybe. I think they're like overseas in the UK or something, but I was happy to add down how Dan Housen. I love Dan Housen. I think he's excellent, so I'm definitely going to complete this guy. I, I'd like to have a double jointed arm. Nice formula. I have the cape from my boy Nick, so if I put the head sculpt, put the cape, put the tattoos, and have him going well, man, uh, we may have to see a Dan Housen on the, on the, on the channel housing. We also have us a Triple H head sculpt, which looks really good. This is just a repainted Jax head sculpt. Had a couple of these. I always like the likeness of this one. This is more of an early 2000s Triple H. He did repaint the Scarlet head sculpt, so this has a lot more likeness to Scarlet than it did before. I like this one a lot. I kind of like the long-haired look on my Elite 92, though, so I don't know if I'll be putting this back. I think I may put this on the basic instead of the Elite because I like the long hair on the Elite figure right now. And the last but not least head sculpt that we have, man, is the Ultimate Edition Kane. Now, I'm kind of worried because I feel like Mattel's just going to straight up re-release the Ultimate Edition came one day in the attire for this mask. And I could totally see it, man. I, I feel like that's probably what they're going to end up doing. But I did want to have this head made just in case. I do have this here for my my Vindication Kane or Hardcore Ringside Exclusive Kane. So I do have this head. And we are going to put this onto that figure just to see what it looks like. But again, I feel like Mattel's probably going to, you know, when they run out of ideas for Ultimate Editions, they're just going to repaint the Ultimate Edition Kane and throw this mask in there with the same sculpt and everything. But I do like the way this looks. It came out fantastic. BW is just a magician. All right, guys. So what we're going to do now is I've, I've put a couple head sculpts on here. And we're going to take a look at those. I don't know why the exposure on my camera is so damn high. Like, I, I, I want a new camera so bad. I, like, I don't understand. I put my hands up here trying to fix the, uh, you know, trying to fix the exposure here. But let's just go ahead and look. This is the one Jeff. I think it's just all the whites that are on the camera, like, kind of blow out the exposure there. But there is the Galaxy head sculpt on the Elite. 
Elite 71 Hardy. I like the way this looks actually a lot. I feel like this is probably the best one you could go with. Maybe the Elite 75 body would look okay too with the body paint and the, you know, the white tank top. That probably would work as well. But I'm imagining just what I got to do is sit down, get in the lab and, and write down and try to figure out some cool formulas for the rest of these head sculpts. And maybe we can make one big epic surgery about the, you know, all the different heads here. But we do have some looks at some of them on head sculpts. We do have a look at some head sculpts on these bodies. So here's this one. I think this one turned out pretty cool. We also have the Bad Luck Fale. Now, one thing that I did notice about Bad Luck Fale is actually his, his like, head has, like, a gigantic hole here. There's nothing for the peg to plug into. So I may have to fix that there. But this still looks really cool. I think the, the body fits proportionate and stuff like that. Head sculpt may be a bit darker than the, you know, the Authors of Pain body that we're using here. But that is something right there. If you're wondering what these three are doing back here, these three Hardys back here are probably going to be featured on that surgery. I'll probably fix those up and stuff like that. Here's Statlander. We already look, took a look at her. You know, that's basically what she looks like there. You know, we, we fixed her up nice. And then last but not least, here is the cane, dude. Look how sick the cane came out. I love this. I love how we got the gloss on the mask. I love the way this came out. I think that BEW crushed it, bro. So definitely go give him a follow on Instagram and YouTube. His links are in the description below, man. Definitely go check him out. But I love the way cane came out a, a ton. I, I think that it makes the body look more proportionate. And I'm a, am I insane? And I don't have to worry about this head falling off. I will say the R3 Tech head was way before its time. Like, this is still probably the best standard cane head, but the hair pull back here does look really cool, and I like the way it fits the body. A little bit better than this one, like, just the way it fits. You know, the likeness is probably better on the R3 Tech, but this still looks super clean. But anyways, man, that is gonna wrap up today's video on all the head sculpts. I'd love to know your thoughts on all the customs down in the comment section below, man. What do you have? Do you have any good ideas for body, you know, body choices for these hardy heads and the rest of it, man? Let me know all down in the comment section below. But I'm getting out of here, man. I'm gonna figure out some formulas for these guys, and maybe we'll have a surgery for tomorrow. We'll have to see. I also may have a toy hunt. We got a huge unboxing. We got lots of stuff coming to the channel, man, that you're not going to want to miss. So turn on your notification bell. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line on my camera, because the damn exposure is getting on my last nerves. I'm about to have to fight it for three rounds. You crossed the line. I've been